so let's see how to use the Z21 common station uh, with Digitrains uh, Pro. Uh, I have a black Z21 here with the router. Uh, it is uh, connected together with the LAN cable and uh, I have uh, the main track cable which goes up to my layout. And also I have here a local net cable, but uh, this is used now for uh, Freddy's, it's not important right now. Uh, and also I have connected on ExpressNet uh, Ultimos, but this is also not so important right now. So I have the Z21 command station, I have the router together and this is connected to my uh, layout. So let's go and uh, install uh, Digitrains Pro uh, to this iPhone. You can also use it on an Android uh, phone or tablet or iPad or also on uh, Windows PCs. So let's uh, see how to use it. I connected to the internet with uh, my iPhone and then I go and search for Digitrains Pro. Okay, I download it. And when I'm ready, I will open this one. Okay, uh, first I need to select the Z21 command station. But of course, now I'm uh, on the internet. I'm not connected to the Z21 router right now. So I will go and uh, change my Wi-Fi settings and connect to this Vezetualash Wi-Fi, which is the Z21 router, so this white one actually. Okay, and now I am connected. So we can go back to Digitrains Pro. And here we are, it says normal operation and you can see uh, this green uh, play icon as well. So this means that uh, night is connected. Uh, here in the connection menu, you can always uh, change which digital command station you would like to use. Now we use the Z21. And also here you have Z21 settings where you can set the IP address of the Z21 command station, which is uh, in default uh, this IP address. So uh, you don't need to change it. The program Digitrains Pro automatically uses this IP address. If you change the IP uh, of the Z21 command station, then you can change it here as well. Um, and that's it. Now you are ready to use it. So let's Let's see if it's working. Uh, if I press this button, we will go to track power off. And here on the multimouse, we also see that it is in stop mode. And also on the C21 command station, we see the blinking uh, blue LED. So this means that it seems working. So now I press up again this button and uh, now we have the normal operation back again. So let's go and add this locomotive. So let's see how to do it. Okay, I go and press this plus button and I will give a name for it, which is uh, M41. And the address is uh, 64. So this is the digital decoder address, which you set in CV1. This is already set. Okay, uh, we can uh, make photo or choose one from the gallery. I will take take a photo now. So I go here, take the photo, and let's say that okay, I will use this photo. Okay, and now we see that. The locomotive is uh, added, so I select it and start with the locomotive. 
other direction so you can see that it's working now uh, also I can uh, put the light on I can use the minus button to slow down the plus button to increase the speed or I can use this uh, slider as well and then press the stop button to to stop with the locomotive uh, if I press the stop button uh, with the long press then this is an emergency stop so the locomotive will stop automatically okay in the end uh, do not forget to go to the main menu and press save and exit or press the save so your data will be saved and uh, available to use it next time